Hey everybody, so this is Erica, and I just wanted to wish you all a Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays. This is going to be my What I Got for Christmas haul. Now here's my disclaimer. I am not bragging in any way, shape, or form. I'm very blessed for what I have and what I get every year, and I never take it for granted. And whenever I start to feel it, I just remember all the good things I have and how blessed I really am. So, um, this is going to be a mixed haul. I have Secret Santa presents, presents from my grandparents, and presents from Christmas, which was yesterday. Um, the only presents I do not have are from my friends Danielle and Cassie. We are going uh, down to my friend Danielle's house in two days. I'm so excited. Um, we are leaving on Saturday, and we'll be back on New Year's Day, and we only get to see her like once a year, so we're just so excited. So I should just jump right into this haul, otherwise it'll be like a 10-hour video. So let's get started. First thing was Secret Santa with my morning meeting, which, in case you don't know what morning meeting is, it's first class in the morning, but what you do is you basically sit in a room full of people you don't really like, and you talk about your feelings and your weekend and discuss class activities. It's not that great. It's just a filler. It's 20 minutes long. But the person who had me was one of my two teachers, Mrs. Cook, and she got me this hat from Old Navy. And it's just this green and cream colored hat that has this kind of diamondy pattern on it. And I love it. It's so soft and so comfortable. And she also got me a huge bag of Skittles, but I ate it and shared it with friends. So that's already gone. Next was cheerleading Secret Santa. And my friend Mackenzie had me. And I said I like Bath and Body Works. And I like hand sanitizer from there and other like jewel um, yeah, jewelry and beauty things like makeup. And she got me a little pocket bag in Twisted Peppermint. And she also got me a big triple moisture body cream in Twisted Peppermint from Bath and Body Works. And they smell like... It smells like candy canes. Like, it smells like peppermint, but it's sweetened with sugar. It just smells so good. And then our coach always gets us a present. Last year they were tank tops that say, I don't sweat. I sparkle and they had a little bow on the back, but I took that off. Um... But this year she got us bags to take to our competitions with us, and they all have our names on them. And they say cheerleader at the bottom, and they're just these black and white drawstring bags, and I really like them, but I'm still going to use the bag that my cheerleading shoes came in, so. Next, we're going to move on to presents that my grandparents got me. Oh, nope, nope, just kidding. Um, we're going to move on to presents from the Gay Straight Alliance. I'm in the Gay Straight Alliance, and... I'm not like the president or the treasurer or anything, although I do a fair amount of work for the group. But we did a Yankee swap, and nobody told me we were doing a Yankee swap because the week before I had um, a dentist appointment. So I went to the drugstore, bought some silly putty and some candy, and brought that in. And what you do is you pick a gift, and then the person next, not next to you, but whoever is the next number, will either steal your gift or somebody else's gift. And then the person who got stolen from has to open a gift or steal another gift but not the gift that's already been stolen. It's really hard to explain. You might as well go Google it. But my friend Tia picked this out, and what it is is four of these. Four mini Nerf gun things, and they're, they're so much fun. Like, I love them so much. And there's four of them, and they each hold three darts, and I love it so much. So thank you, Tia. Also, thank you, Jenny and Mackenzie and Mrs. Cook. I forgot to thank you. And now we move on to presents that my grandparents got me. Um, they were only going to do three presents, and then somehow they bumped it up to six. I don't know what happened. But, um, first thing we'll start off with is this little shiny thing. This is an emergency blanket or a car blanket. Everyone in my family got one of these. Every single person. Like, it's ridiculous. And it basically looks like a giant piece of tinfoil to me, but it's a pretty cool gift, and I love it. And then the next thing is... Um, what's in this box? Now, my phone used to go through battery so fast. All of our phones did. We, we all had crap phones. And my grandmother bought us this thing. Oh, I'm dropping things. It's a portable charger that has, like, a flashlight on it. But what you do is this side will tell you how much charge is in this left. So then when your phone starts to die, you plug it in here and it'll charge your phone. It's literally, like, the coolest thing ever. And it also came... With an iPod adapter, a wall charger, a little bag to put it in, 
and then the cord that's basic for um, basic phone chargers and USB ports. So yeah. And then I got this, and this made me super excited. I opened up a box, and I saw this in there, and I was like, I already have this magazine, now why did I get it? And then this note came out that says, Erica, we got you a two-year subscription to 17, we got a two-year subscription to 17 for you, love Grampy and Grammy, and I love 17 so much, so this makes me really excited. Next thing that my grandparents got me was a license plate cover. It's silver and bedazzled, and it looks so good on my orange car, which in case you didn't know, I have an orange... Orange 2004 Pontiac Sunfire, and it's a two-door, and her name is Taryn, and she's the cutest, so maybe I'll Instagram a picture. We'll talk about that in a minute. And then we have this sign. My grandmother also got me this. She got my sister one that said Princess, but it says Diva on it in pink, and it's basically like a wall decor thing, and it's got gold and glittery and pink words and a little tiara because I'm also a princess, so yeah. <laughs> and then, next thing she got me was this sweater I wanted from Dahlia's. It's gray and it has a white bunny on it wearing black glasses with a pink nose. It's actually really thin and I'm a little disappointed in the quality and it's, the biggest size they had was a large and it's like a crop top on me so it's a little disappointing but um, I can always wear it with high-waisted pants or high-waisted shorts but yeah, this is from Dahlia's, and I really like this one. And then my grandmother also got me scarves from Old Navy. This is an infinity scarf. Um, and it's just gray and black leopard print with blue on the edges, and it's so soft, and I love it so, so much. And she also got me this black sparkly one that's triangular shaped, like a shawl kind of. And this will just be good for all my gray sweaters, which in case you didn't know, all I really own is gray sweaters because that's the only sweater color I like. I'm not very diverse here. And then, um, this wasn't from my grandparents, but my friend Ayla got me this ring. It is a uh, dark blue stone with silver setting and a turquoise uh, stone in the middle. And it's just, it's a really pretty ring, so thank you, Ayla. And I forgot... One more gift from my grandparents. I'm sorry, I'm bouncing off the walls here. They got me a luggage set. Now, I'm going to try to put this on camera so you can see it. But it's huge. So, this is the luggage set that my grandparents got me. Um, It's black with an orange overtone. And I really like this because it comes with three rolly suitcases. Three. That's a lot of suitcases. And then there's one, like, carry-on inside, which they're for Germany. But we have to send it back because the handle is, like, broken. Like, it gets stuck. So, yeah, I'm not even going to try to play with that. So. so next, I'm going to move on to just my, like, my immediate family presence. And I'm going to do stocking stuffers last. So I'll just get started. First thing I got was this purse, and my mom always labels a couple presents from our animals, and my kitten likes to play with Barbie toys, and he drags this, like, this little purse around, so she's like, this is from Ginny, and I was like, ha 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 ha. So, it's just a Vera Bradley purse, and it's got a little snap pocket here, a zip pocket that has little pockets inside, and then just one big snap pocket in the back, and then it has this long strap. And I originally wanted the, like, wristlet wallet in this, but they couldn't find it because this is, like, um, a retired pattern. So they just got me this bag, and I really like it, it's, uh, especially since it can hold my laptop, which is going to be good, since I just got accepted into summer college classes, so wish me luck. And the next thing I got was a pair of boots. Now, I got these boots last year. And they crapped out within a month or two, but my mom just keeps buying them just because they're cheap. And I just go through a pair of boots a year because they're suede. So she got me these boots from Hotcakes. I'm sorry for the crinkliness. They just look like this. They're black suede, and they just have a zipper down the side, and they've just got a soft sole. And to go with it, 
she got me a can of waterproof shoe spray, so that'll come in handy. Thank you, Mom. And then, the present that my dad gave me, even though my mom and dad give most of the presents together, was this little thing called a clocky. Now, if you watch Strawberry Electric 48, which I love her so much, you should go check her out. Her name's Christy. She is one of these in yellow, and I don't know where she got it in yellow, but I'm jealous. But I got a clocky, and what it is, is it's an alarm clock on wheels. Like, it starts rolling around and moving. Like, it's the coolest thing, and it just has the hour, the minute, the alarm, the time button, the snooze button, and then the wheels button, and the alarm button. So what happens is when it goes off, it jumps off your table and rolls around making really obnoxious R2-D2 noises until you get up to shut it off. So that'll help me because I can't get out of bed ever. And it really annoys my mom, so. The next thing I got was my winter ball dress. I'm so excited. Thumbs up this video if you want to see a, um, get ready with me video for this. That won't be until mid-January, but you'll see it then. Sorry, this is taking forever. I should have unwrapped this. It's from Devs, and it looks like this. It is a royal blue, which are my school colors, and I'm known for having way too much school spirit, so <laughs> I like it, but at the same time, I'm like, not again. And it's just covered in these big gemstones down the middle, and then it cinches, and then it's a high-low dress, so it's got the long, like, veil train type thing, and it's just, it's really soft and silky. And it'll also be good for pageants, so it's a dual-duty dress. The next thing I got was from my sister. Now, she took a giant box, and she wrapped it. But then she wrapped, like, a little box. And I kept unwrapping it, and there were, like, four more boxes inside until I found a note that says, Not in here! So there was a box below, so I was like, oh, okay. So I unwrapped it. There was, like, four more boxes in there that say, Oops, maybe you should keep looking. And I pulled the tissue paper up, and it's under the tissue paper. This was, like, a ten-minute process. And then in there was another box, and another box, and then this one from Hanoush Jewelers. And what it is, is it's an Alex and Ani bracelet, my first one. This is the only one I really wanted, but it is the silver, silver, seven swords bracelet, and it looks like this. I got it in Russian silver, and the reason I chose seven swords is not only because I really like Dungeons and Dragons, and I'm just badass like that, but because, um... It represents a lot within yourself, which is something I'm working on. So as long as I have that, I will have everlasting love within myself. And the next thing I got was from my cat. Yeah. Um, his name's Otto. He's really big. We also have the kitten named Jenny, but we talked about that. And he gave me all three of the Lord of the Rings movie, which sounds really dorky. I already own the first two. I pre-bought them from somebody in this county. But, um... My parents didn't know, so they bought me all three, and I just told them they could have the first two that I own, because I will be taking these to college in two years. So, um, yeah, I got Lord of the Rings, The Fellowship of the Ring, Two Towers, and The Return of the King, and I'm so excited to watch these, because um, my friend Noah keeps trying to get me into it, and I will never read the books, but I'll watch the movies. And the next thing I got was, I got one book this year, and I used to get tons of books, but... I have so many books on my headboard, like, I just looked at it, it's ridiculous. I'm so behind, like, I'm trying to read The Time Traveler's Wife, but it, it's honestly not happening. So, my mom got me The Fault in Our Stars by John Green, and since the movie's coming out, I gotta read it soon, and then I'll go watch it, kind of like Ender's Game, I still haven't read that, or Divergent, I'm just, I'm behind in the reading train here. And now we move on to clothes. Now, there's a lot of clothes in here, so this may take a bit, so... If you're not interested, I guess you can just skip ahead. So, first thing I got was this scarf. Oh, by the way, my mom wraps things together. That's why I get tons of clothes. Um, this scarf, which is from Old Navy, it's just a blue and green and, like, navy florally print on a cream background. Then the edges have, like, blue diamonds and um, a green border. So, there's that. And then my mom goes to this thing called the sock sale 
And she kind of just loses her mind and gets me tons of socks. You are not a sock. But she got me this pair and this pair and this pair. She accidentally wrapped that pair in my sister's and we had to switch them after. This pair. This pair. And this pair. And there is no doubt that there will be more socks in a bit. Um, another thing she got me was she got me um, camisoles. And I go through white camisoles. Like they start turning like they're not white when I'm done with them. They turn like gray or yellow. It's just it's disgusting. But she also got me a black one because I have two black ones but I never really wear them anyway. So she got me a black one. And she got me this scarf, I never really looked at it before, but it's pretty cool. Um, it's like this mesh infinity scarf, and it's um, turquoisey and purple, and it's got butterflies, and it's just all stringy. And it's kind of weird. It reminds me of zombies. Ah, <laughs> uh, <laughs> those. I got the white camisoles. I got two. And the next thing I got, I asked for this. Like I begged for this. This is a Old Navy performance fleece jacket. Oh my god. It's literally like the softest thing. Like the minute this starts pilling, I will cry. Like it's just so fluffy and fuzzy. And um, the reason I wanted it was so I could have like a fall fleece because the only one I have is blue plaid. So I wanted to get one that was all seasonal even though I did get my dancing jacket too. So there's that. And then this is crazy, but my mom got this Christopher Banks coat thing. I'm not quite sure what it is, but it's like an orangey red plaid. It's more fall than anything. And it has a little drawstring at the bottom and it zips up and there's drawstrings at the top. She got this at Goodwill for four dollars. Like, it's crazy. But, yeah, I really like this. And then, when I'm getting into the clothes now, my mom bought these clothes in August. <laughs> so I can't return them, but I really like them. There is this um, it's not plaid, it's, okay, it's plaid, but it's not a flannel. It's just a, um, a purpley pink and cream plaid shirt. Uh, the wrists cuff up a bit like this, and it only buttons down halfway. So, I really like this. And then, this is a plaid flannel from Old Navy. Can you tell I like Old Navy? It's got roll-up sleeves, and it's bluish green and orange, and it buttons down all the way and I think it's um, more fitted than some of my other flannels are like some of my flannels are just big and loosey-goosey but I like the fitted ones too and then she got me this sweater now I have a shirt that looks like this but it's not a sweater which is okay but it's just this green and cream striped sweater very soft and then she got me this sweater the never-ending sweaters and it's navy and blue striped at the bottom, and then at the top it's blue and green striped. And then she also got me this white lacy shirt, and it's got lace cutouts in the front, but it's also got them in the back. And it's three quarter length sleeved, and it's like a baby doll shirt, so it flows out. Then she got me this turquoise mesh shirt that's just mesh over the shoulders and in the shirt. And it's turquoise and it's got like um, a crochet pattern on the front and it has three buttons right there. And then she got me this sweater. Now my sister got this in tan and last year she got it in light blue. But at the same time she had bought this one because my sister got it for her birthday. But then I got this one. It's this navy blue mixed knit sweater. So it's got like the puffy knit and the smooth knit. Puffy, smooth. I don't know how to describe it. But it's just this long sleeve navy blue sweater and I love it. So, moving out of clothes, we're going to move on to pants and skirts. I got uh, this skirt. It's a candy skirt and it's just um, a high-waisted pencil skirt and if you know what high-waisted is on me, it means like up here. And it's just this gray or uh, charcoaly gray and it's got a zipper in the back and a little slit. And then we also got this jean skirt. It's a longer jean skirt, but I still can't wear it for cheerleading dress-up days, which disappoints me. And it's got um, little, like, studs on here. They're, like, gold 
stud things. If you know what those are, comment down below. It's got them on the butt pockets, too. And then, my mom had to go into the missus section and get me jeans, because none of my jeans ever fit me. Like, it's the hardest thing to find jeans that fit me, because my hips are up here, my waist is down here, and then I have the middle, and it's, it's hard to explain. But she got me two pairs of Lees at, like, full price, and normally my mom only shops clearance, so this was, like, a gift from God. But she got me uh, two dark blue um, pairs of Lees, and they fit, and they look good, and she told me I had to go through my closet and throw away all the pants that don't fit me now. So, after this, I get to clean my room. yippee ki -yay. And she got me this pair as well. One is straight-legged, and then, I'm not sure what the other one is. I think that one's straight-legged, too, but it's, like, a different kind of straight leg. Alright, and the last thing is stocking stuffers. Um... There is jewelry in here that went along with the winter ball dress, so I'll point it out when I get to it. But, um, yeah. So, stocking stuffers. I got car scraper, razors, um, I got silver eyeliner. That makes me so excited because I love silver eyeliner, but I just never owned any. But my mom forgot to put it in my stocking, so she gave it to me at the end of the night last night. And then... I got this. This is um, a pocket bag. And I actually bought this, not gonna lie, and I just gave it to my dad. I was like, put it in the stocking. There's, I think, one more present in here like that. Um, but this is lemon meringue cheer, and it just smells very lemony and like sugary, like a hint of sugar, but it mostly smells like lemon, but it's not like pledge smelling. I got body wash and it's unscented oh okay so it has oatmeal in it because in the winter I get really nasty like dry patches and that's really bad for cheerleading because you know the uniforms stick to you so yep and it's from up and up which means my mom got it at Target and we don't have a Target here in Vermont so should go to New York I got rainbow sherbet gum and then I asked for a vent clip for my car in my stocking from Bath and Body Works and they didn't end up getting that. They went to the Yankee Candle outlet and they got me Sun and Sand which I'm not, mostly smells like musk, like kind of like a musky smell, but they're just vent sticks. So what you do is you take it off and you just slide it on to your vent clip. So um, everyone in our family got one of these so we're all going to mix uh, mix and match to get one cent of each, so I'm so excited. And then she got me shaving cream, and I still haven't even finished my shaving cream from last year, but this smells like coconut and oat flour, apparently. It smells good. I like coconut, though, so. And then she got me a little box of Whitman's chocolates, uh, Colgate-sensitive whitening toothpaste, and she knows I need this because Hashtag pageant girl problems. I'm working on whitening my teeth. She got me a toothbrush. And she got me a uh, clean and clear blackhead eraser. Because I have lots of blackheads on my nose. You just can't really see them because they're buried down. But I also ran out of face wash this week. so. And then this was the jewelry from my winter ball escapade. And it's just... Um, little blue gemstones and little dots in this little half moon kind of shape. It's hard to describe, but it's from Baked Beads, which is a local company, and they'll have, I guess, like, big tent sales, and it's nuts. That's where I get some of my jewelry in it. So, if this seems choppy, my camera reached max recording length. So it, it died on me, basically. But we're just going to continue on where I was in stocking stuffers. I got a stick of deodorant, and it takes me, like, ten years to go through deodorant. I don't know why. Like, I use it, like, three times a day every day, and I still just can't get through it. And then she got me this Head & Shoulders Green Apple Shampoo. This is my favorite shampoo, and I recommend it to everybody, and it just smells delicious. That's what it smells like. It's delicious. And then she got me 
iHome earbuds with a travel pouch included, and they're just these black headphones that you um, stick in your ears. Although, it wasn't really necessary for my mom to get headphones, but we'll talk about that in a minute. And then she got me this NYC Liquid Lip Shine Lip Gloss, Lip Gloss in Fashion Avenue Fuchsia. And she got me another eyeliner in coal or black, so I now have like four black eyeliners because that's all I wear. And then she got me two little pairs of earrings. They're blue, like round the loopy things. Excuse me. And then she got me these little, um, these little ones that have green stones on them that just kind of look like limes. And then I helped my dad pick these up, but these are Zodiac necklaces. So there's an Aries one, and that's me because I was born April 1st, and it's got the ram and everything. And then I got this little thing of jewelry. I really like this. They're just little uh, bubble beads and a little ring, and it goes down here, and it came with earrings. They're from the brand Pop Rods, and I really like it. And then this was my favorite stocking stuffer. It was from Ben Franklin's, and I picked this out months ago. It's a little music box, and it plays Santa Claus is Coming to Town. But it's cool because you can watch the music play. So I'm actually going to flip it over so you can see it. Isn't that cool? Like, I think it's the cutest thing. I love it so much. Now, I lied when I said I was done with gifts because my mom got me this wallet. And no, I didn't forget that she got me this wallet. It's just a galaxy print wallet with, like, a little starter in here. And it goes, like, pinky to purple to blue to, like, turquoise. And you'll notice that it has, like, this open slot for phone. Now, I had a Samsung Solstice 2, and it was a piece of crap. And I said that in past tense. Because our big th gift this year was getting a data plan, and I got an iPhone! But not just any iPhone, I got the 5S. Do you know how cool that is? That's the one with the fingerprint scanner. So, we got it all set up this morning. I got woken up really early so that we could activate them. I don't have any cases yet, though, so very protective of my baby. Look at it! Look at it! And I can't use the fingerprint scanner quite yet, but look at it, look at it, look at it, look at it, look at it. Oh, I have a reminder to go do homework, which means that I have to go. Thank you guys so much for staying with me. I hope you all had a happy holiday season, and I hope that you all have a very happy new year. I love you all so much, and don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe, favorite, share, whatever you want. So, thank you all so much. I love you. Bye.